Assalamualaikum class. Welcome back with a new topic. Last time we have studied about Charles Law. Now I am going to discuss about absolute zero. It is also related to Charles Law. First of all, what is absolute zero? Absolute zero is the temperature. It is temperature. We can write it as a temperature. At which the volume of a gas becomes zero. Actually, it is a temperature, minimum temperature, at which the volume of the gas becomes zero. and it is equal to two seventy three point sixteen degree Celsius minus two seventy three point sixteen degree Celsius. It is a temperature. at which the volume of any gas becomes zero we can say that actually that gas becomes or converts into liquid or solid so we can say that the volume of the gas becomes zero now defining the critical form of charles law according to charles law according to charles law if we have a gas and that gas has a volume and we want to increase the temperature by 1 degree or we want to decrease the temperature by 1 degree if we increase the temperature by 1 degree then the volume of that gas increases by 1 over 273 times of its actual volume i am going to write it in the form of mathematical form the volume total volume of a gas at 0 degree celsius is equal to v not v not is the volume of the gas at 0 degree celsius now i am going to temp increase the temperature v total at 1 degree celsius v not plus 1 divided by 273 v not now again going back to that statement if we increase the temperature by 1 degree the volume also increases by 1 over 273 times of actual volume so we have to add this factor to actual volume then the total volume will be the sum of these two factors now when we decrease the temperature by 1 degree we can say that v total at minus 1 degree celsius is equal to v not plus minus 1 divided by 273 v not and when we decrease the temperature up to minus 273 then what happens v total at minus 273 degree celsius then we can write it as v not minus 273 divided by 273 v not 273 and 273 will cut out and when we subtract v not from v not then it comes zero we can write it as the total volume of the gas at minus 273 degree celsius is zero it is the mathematical form of absolute zero it is the mathematical form of absolute zero now graphical representation
Suppose we have a gas. Here is the x-axis and here is the y-axis. And I am going to take the temperature on x-axis. Here is uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Here is 200 degrees Celsius. 300 degrees Celsius. And here is minus 100 degrees Celsius. 200 degrees Celsius. And 300 degrees Celsius. It is the volume of the gas in dm cube. Increase in volume and it's in dm cube. Suppose at 0 degree Celsius, at 0 degree Celsius the gas has some volume. The gas has some volume. And when we increase the temperature, the volume of the gas also increases. The volume of the gas also increases. And when we decrease the temperature, the volume of the gas also decreases. And when we approach minus 273 degrees Celsius, minus 273 degrees Celsius, the volume of the gas becomes zero. The volume of the gas becomes zero. It is almost parallel to zero scale. We can simply say that the gas converts into liquid or solid. We cannot say it as that the mass of the gas becomes zero. The volume of the gas becomes zero because uh, that matter is actually not in the form of gas now. It is extremely low temperature at which the molecules develop forces of attraction among themselves and converts into solids or liquids. If you have a question regarding absolute zero, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.